parametric sweep analysis. In this exercise, we will look at the parametric sweep in SPICE. The parametric sweep allows the simulation to sweep selected component values, a global parameter or a model parameter over a range of values. Let's get started. So download and extract starting design files.zip. Once you've done that, open up the project with file open. And you'll notice that there are two different project files that are very similar. There's audio equalizer.prjpcb and audio equalizer 14.prjpcb. Um, use the 14 if you are using Ultimate Designer 14.3 and earlier. If you're using um, version 15 or later, then use the audio equalizer.prjpcb. You'll see here there is a directory structure, three levels in fact of schematics. If we open up the top one, for example, um, here is the equalizer. And zooming in, you'll notice that we've got a number of these green blocks that are in fact the same, of the same schematic, equalizer channel.schdoc. To have a look at them, that the uh, schematic at the lower level, hold the control key down, double click on the green box, and that'll take us to that lower level schematic. In and out for left and right. And once again, there is a nested um, block here. This is the RC network. So again, holding the control key, double clicking, and we have the RC network. By the way, to get back to the top level, hold the control key and double click on the port. Back at the top level, what's different about these blocks or the instantiations, because they're the same schematic, uh, are parameters. If I just double click on one of the blocks, you'll notice that there is the properties tab, which is the usual color, location, size, parameters, so just the graphics essentially. But there's a second tab called parameters. And in here, you'll notice that there are values for C1 value for that variable name, which is used in the lower level schematics. And it's given a specific value, in this case, a 0.12 microfarads. There's also an indirect variable called, called pot set, potentiometer setting value is what that refers to. You'll notice that it is slider 32, but this is not a literal. This is again a parameter. That's why we have the curly brackets. If we look at the one below here under parameters, you'll notice the values are all different. Slider 64, for example, the C1 value is 0.056 microfarads. So each of these blocks is distinguished by the different set of parameters. So that's a way of having a simple design that uses the same circuitry but different values. If I again go into that lower level schematic, you'll see here that the actual values are referenced here, C2 value, C1 value, R1 value. So these can be set at the top level schematic, um, but are carried through um, the process. The other advantage is that um, by having it this way, those same values will propagate out to the PCB document for board layout. Now, going back to the equalizer channel schematic, if I double click on the potentiometer, you'll notice that the set position is referenced here in the parameters. So that is where the reference is over here. If we go down to the simulation model, and go to parameters, we'll see that the value is 20K and the position pot set is set over here. As a normal course of development of the design, once you've defined the schematic, you normally compile the design. And this is especially important with this type of channeled approach. If I right click on the project and choose compile, the design will go through all the schematics and ensure connectivity a net list, etc. And now that I've done that, I can go again into the equalizer channel schematic. And what we'll notice at the bottom is in addition to having the regular schematic, um, that is the editor tab, there's also subsequent tabs, one for each block. And as you progress through these, you'll notice that there's a change in the, the designators. So the R level left our level right has a suffix corresponding to the value of the tab. So 125 hertz right now, if I change to 250, you'll see those designators change. So it's a way of ensuring desi uh, unique designators um, for the design. 
if I go one level lower into the RC network, um, and again, because I've compiled, I can go to the many tabs that have been created here. So one kilohertz um, left, for example, you see here that the designator C2, one kilohertz A left one. And if I just go through the tabs, you'll see that those um, designators change as well as the values. Uh, we've got 0 0.056 microfarads, 0 0.022, etc. So the key here is the compilation, which then incorporates all the parameters specified at the top level within each of the individual schematic sheets. Now we're going to get back to the simulation aspect. We'll go to the analysis setup and then go down to global parameters. We need a new parameter, which we'll, we'll add by clicking the add button and give it a name of sweep and initial value of zero. Now, if we look carefully at the other parameters in here, you'll notice that they're dependent on the variable called sweep. The double equal sign will check for equality. The parameters are set in such a way that the even odd pairs will set the potentiometer's set position at 0 0.001 and 0.999 and at 0.5 for the other steps. Now we're going to go to the parameter sweep analysis enable that checkbox and then we're going to set the primary sweep variable to be sweep. We're going to set the primary start value at 1, the stop value at 20, and a step value of 1. And also make sure the primary sweep is absolute values rather than relative. Now in order to do a parameter analysis we need to do one other type of analysis. So we're going to choose the AC small signal analysis. Set the uh, start frequency 32 hertz, stop frequency of 32 kilohertz, sweep type will do octave, and set 10 test points. So that's a total of 101 test points. In the general setup, we want to make sure that we have left out as the active signal, and the sim view setup show active signals. Click OK, and now we're going to run the simulation. You'll notice progress shown in the bottom bar, both by the green bar that progresses for every uh, run, every sweep, and also the summary to the right of that, AC sweep, run 4 of 20. Now with the sweep analysis complete, in the top section we can see the waveform left out, how it behaves over the frequency sweep from 32 all the way to 32 kilohertz. And then down below is the family of curves that are representing the different values of parameters for sweep, which then translates to different values for the passive components. Notice that suffixes are used to indicate which sweep the wave corresponds to. For example, left out dash P01 corresponds to the first sweep step. If you go back to the projects panel under generated text document audio equalizer swd which gives us a record of all the sweep values that were done to generate the waveforms.